I think helping a robot or like a autonomous driving car to see is pretty much、uh, like how you would imagine you can help a human being to see. First, you need to、uh, have sensors, or you need to open a human's eyes. In our case,、uh, we will leverage different sensors. It can be optical sensors like cameras, and it can be a lidar sensor or a radar sensor that's sensing the range. And then you need a brain to process what it's observing, so that it can answer different questions and react to the world. Uh, so for a robot, we are mainly answering two questions, which is where I am and what should I do,、uh, and that links to we need to use this sensor information to help the robot localize itself, and then also help the robot to understand what's currently happening in the dynamic world, so it can react in a safe way. Although the system sounds complicated, but the underlying principle is actually very simple. For example, you might hear lidar a lot when you get to autonomous driving car.、Uh, it is actually a ranging sensor. It tells the computers、uh, what's the distance between the objects around it to the car itself,、uh, so that you can do、uh, two things out of it.、Uh, if you know the distance, then you know the whole geometry of your environment.、Uh, then you can use this information to compare to your map, and then you will have a better idea of where you are. And then,、uh, if you are moving forward, you can also estimate what's the closest obstacle in front of you. Should you slow down, or maybe you should switch lane? So in the end, it's all just basic geometry. If you're interested in geometry, maybe you can come work with us.